Archmere is a site of special scientific interest, and it's a Ramsar site, and it gets that designation because of the rare plants and animals that live there. We've always been working to try and improve the water quality going into Hatchmere. A lot of the plants rely on really low nutrient systems, so anything we can do to slow the flow of water and improve the nutrient flow. We originally started kind of a lot of natural flood management techniques in Hatchmere, so that's creating woody debris dams, removing some areas of trees, all aimed at kind of slowing that flow, and the realisation came that Basically we're creating dams, we're coppicing trees, everything that beavers do. Uh, why not get some beavers to do it for us? So where we are in, in the UK at the moment is that, is that nature is pretty much broken. We know this from many reports that have been undertaken. Um, we're in a situation where we've got a very dysfunctional landscape. And what we need to do is we need to, we need to remake the landscape. And what beavers are really good at is, is remaking landscapes. They're the original landscape engineers and what we're hoping that they will do is bring back processes that have been lost from this landscape for 400 years. Today is a really, really exciting day for Cheshire Wildlife Trust. It's the culmination of three years hard work to bring beavers back to Cheshire. Beavers are such a fantastic species and I'm so excited to have them in the county. It's taken about two to three years to get a licence. Um, it's several licences um, and yeah, we've got to kind of prove everything that we're doing is important for the beavers and it will be a really work. But also, we know everything about this site. Um, we've had all kinds of surveys carried out, looking at invertebrates, looking at birds, looking at water quality, uh, groundwater levels, everything really. But we can repeat this later on to kind of show the changes that beavers make. Beavers, they have coppice trees, and what they're going to do is they're going to eat the bark and they're going to eat the fine shoots at the top of the trees. Uh, so you'll start to see the canopy open up. And as soon as you start to see that, all the bare ground underneath, which at the moment is just leaf litter, you'll see grasses and kind of finer vegetation and you'll get a lot more diversity in the area. So you'll see a lot more water start to bank up as well as they build dams and they want to swim to their trees. It's much safer for them. Uh, so you'll start to see a lot greener area. I've been up early today, about seven o'clock. I uh, did a quick walk around the fencing just to check it over. Um, make sure no trees have fallen in the high winds over the weekend. Make sure no badges have dug in, things like that. I didn't sleep very well last night, uh, more excitement than anything, um, but it's, yeah, it's incredible. released our beavers, we released them separately, so we released the male first and he just trotted along and jumped in the water, did a couple of circles around the pond um, and then we released the female a little bit later on and she again just kind of trotted in, had a little sniff around and again she's been swimming around, uh, they've met up, a little sniff of each other in the corner uh, and they both seem really happy, it's the first time they've met so all has gone well so far. It feels amazing, absolutely incredible, uh, the release couldn't have went any better. Um, and yeah, amazing. Next, uh, we'll be monitoring the beavers uh, just to see how they get on. Hopefully they'll make a lodge, kind of settle in together, get to know each other. 
we should start to see trees getting coppiced, um, dams created and the site will get a little bit wetter. Uh, and yeah, we'll start our monitoring phase, so we'll start to look at the impact of the beavers over the next few years. I just want to say a huge thank you to our members and supporters who have helped us on this journey and to the staff that have worked so hard to make today a reality. But what is really, really exciting is to sit down one day and, and see a vision ahead and say, I think we can have these beavers, even though it's going to be difficult. And then over the years to try and try and not give up and then eventually to have them come back. It's a dream come true, really. Thank you.